I have honestly no idea why you're watching this. I have uh, no knowledge in keyboards at all. But you know what? I'm glad you're here. In this video, we'll be exploring my first 65% keyboard build. What I've done is basically buy a pre-built keyboard, replace the switches and change the keycaps all for under $100. We will first start off with the sound test and then the component breakdown as well as their corresponding prices so that you can build one for yourself if you choose to. The keyboard used here is the Royal Clutch 68, a pretty mainstream and common keyboard that you can find on Lazada for 4880. The board is hot swappable so if you're a total noob like me, you don't need to worry about the more advanced stuff like uh, soldering. You'll be able to just uh, pop the switches off and change them accordingly. My RK68 came with red Cherry MX switches, which I then promptly swapped out for the Faker Holy Panda switches. The Faker Holy Panda switches cost about 30 cents per unit, amounting to $20.40, accounting for all 68 switches on the keyboard. I paid about $4 for shipping here since uh, I bought them off Taobao. As you know, a nice set of keycaps can be really expensive. After much digging, I found this set of keycaps on Shopee for $22. In my opinion, this set of keycaps has one of the highest aesthetic to cost ratio scores out there in the market. So there you have it, a budget 65% keyboard build. To summarize, these are the cost of all the components amounting to a grand total of $95.20. Links of the individual components can be found in the description below. Once again, I'm glad you're here and thank you for watching and joining me on uh, my journey to build my very first 65% keyboard. See you next time.